Hello there, my Cappies. Welcome to your love reading. This is a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn through the middle of June 2019. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. And uh, please uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell on the side so you know whenever I put out new videos or go live. Um, if you're in the Portland, Oregon area and want to come see me at my live YouTube broadcast event on June 22nd, there are tickets available uh, at my website and you can also book personal readings at my website. The link is going to be in the description box down below. This is a general love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Through the middle of June, not all of the messages are going to resonate with every single person who sees these. We are working with spiritual energy, so just keep an open mind and uh, know that the stories can be flipped around. Um, and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. Get to know your favorite psychic medium a little bit more intimately. All right, so let's see what's in the overall energy for my beautiful cappies, my little devils, my sea goats, my workaholics. I have Capricorn moon in my chart, so totally, totally love cappies. They're solid, loyal, and stable, hardworking people. All right, let's see what the overall energy is going to be for your love reading. Here we go. We're going to cut this fortune deck here. All right, so in your overall energy for the next couple weeks, you've got the seer. Follow your intuition. Here's our little redheaded seer. <laughs> Yep, just trust your intuition. It won't lead you astray. Some of you might be, uh, a lot of Capricorns are very intuitive. They're into the occult and uh, the paranormal. So they, they're not, uh, not, not your typical average bear. All right, oh. Well, Carlos Spicy Wiener has been showing up here, or Carlos Spicy Pants. Our player energy, Mr. In and Out, Back and Forth, Doesn't Know What They Want, Fire Sign Energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This can also be someone who's ready to move forward with a lot of passion and take a risk. It's travel, it's movement. Okay, so someone might be coming in with a lot of passion, but... That jumped out of the deck, so I'm going to put it in the main part of the reading because I'm not done shuffling because I have to cut the deck and pull off the bottom card and then all the other cards. I've got a, there's a method to my madness here. I don't really use a set spread because I'm a rebel like that. I like to live a little dangerously. Saw the two of cups trying to come out. I like to take a chance and live dangerously. <laughs> All right. My beautiful Cappies, what's going on in love? Whoa. Saw the Ten of Pentacles trying to come out now. There might be some type of commitment coming in here. Somebody's going to take a chance. And you know, you can tell, you, you feel it coming. Let's see here. The bottom of the deck, you've got the sun. This is the best card in the tarot deck. It's happiness, harmony, clarity, being seen, being in the spotlight. Sun God rods, masculine energy. It's related to the sign of Leo. Happiness and joy. After the rain comes the sun. This is also enlightenment. So... Our seer is enlightened. They know that 
someone's going to get themselves together and there's going to be peace and harmony and happiness and joy coming in. All this difficulty is temporary. It's not going to last forever. All right, what else? The chariot, Cancerian energy, moving forward towards victory and success. Balance. Victory. Card number seven. What else do we have? Eight of Cups. Walking away from something that doesn't serve you. Going on a, like a spiritual journey. Going down a spiritual path. Soul searching. Um, leaving behind things that, you know, you put in a lot of time, energy, and effort. It just doesn't pay off for you emotionally. And just walking away from it. Water sign, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. On the bottom, you've got the Five of Wands. This has been showing up a lot so far. Competition, fights, chaos, drama. But someone has the sort of victory. There's a, a winner here. Somebody's going to beat out the competition. Somebody might have been interfering in a otherwise happy connection. What else do we have? The Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I feel this is past energy. Okay. So, and that leaves us with the Two of Swords, a stalemate, no communication, things not moving, but it's also about compromising. Someone needs to take a step forward and make a decision because the ground is starting to break under their feet and the sun is rising. Okay. Somebody caused some pain and heartbreak and confusion. There's been no communication. Somebody's been left out in the dark and feeling stuck. Somebody was back and forth, in and out. They don't know what they want. Okay, this I feel is past energy. But now somebody wants to come in. The student page, the page of pentacles, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's learned some lessons from all of this. If they were the ones that caused all of this and they were acting like a player in and out, now they want to apologize and offer something solid and stable. Okay? They're going to take a chance. They might want to come see you, get on the same page and apologize. They might have been going back and forth and someone wants to leave that energy behind. I look at the major arcanas as the main energy. So you're going to move beyond this player energy, this back and forth, someone's going to apologize, you're going to, you know, release what doesn't serve. Moving beyond this in and out energy, getting everybody on the same page, black and white here, which is yin yang, divine masculine, divine feminine energy, getting on the same page and leaving behind the stuff that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. You both want to be happy. Okay, you could be dealing with someone with um, Cancer or Leo in their chart. But there's harmony and peace coming in. And this is going to move in a new direction. The chariot always follows the star, which is fate, destiny, hope, and healing. Cancerian energy. Okay. Okay. Um, but getting on the same page and rising above. It's rising above all of this. So we're going to get another deck. And we're going to clarify the major arcanas. But someone's coming out of some, some heartbreak, chaos, confusion that they've caused. They're gonna, they're, they've caused someone a lot of hurt. They're going to come in and apologize and bring peace and harmony and move this in the right direction. And you already know that it's coming. You, you know it's going to work out. Okay? 
You might not, might have doubted it, might have been confused. You might not have had enough information to make a decision. So you have to just trust your gut on it. Why is the seer here for my cappies? Why is the seer here? Tr follow your intuition. Clarify the seer for me, please, spirit. Someone wants movement also. If this, if this situation's been stuck, they want movement and they're going to get movement. They got their giddy up and go. Why is the seer here? Three of swords. We've got the three of swords here twice. Heartbreak, disappointment. There might have been a third party. Somebody, somebody might have not wanted to face the truth. They, maybe they, their heart was broken by a player and they're afraid that they're going to do it again. But this is, you know, somebody knew that there was something going on. Their gut was telling them something. You know, and I feel there's two people here. Two, there's two people. So you got two, three of swords here. That's six swords. That's having a healing conversation to move things into calmer waters. Okay. Both of you have got, got hurt really bad before by players, by other players in and out energy. So you're a little bit guarded. And I think you guys didn't want to face the truth or deal with it, but you have to deal with it now. Now you now you see what, what, what happened and you want harmony and peace between the two of you. Clarify the sun. King of Swords. Yep, this guy's going to... He's clear now. He knows what he wants. He's going to come in and, and and take action and cut out. Cutting out and walking away from what no longer serves him. Air, it's air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person may be hard to read because the King of Swords can come off as very cold and aloof and non-emotional. He might not have ever told you how much he cares about you, but deep down he loves you. You're his sunshine. But I feel you you already knew. He didn't have to tell you because you could see right through him. He is trying to trying to be a player and stuff, but you knew. This man is very intelligent. So he's he's clear now on what he wants. Cutting out what doesn't serve him. Why is the chariot here? This Cancerian energy. Moving towards a new beginning of abundance and love, an outpouring of emotion, a proposal, a renewal. It's water sign energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is also your, your intuition opening up. Okay. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they are also very intuitive. They're Probably one of the most intuitive out of all of the signs, especially the water signs, because they're ruled by the moon, which has to do with the subconscious, uh, hidden things. But there's going to be some type of brand new beginning in love and abundance here. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a message from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle for you. I need some uh, advice for my Capricorns, please, Spirit. Somebody's walking away from doubt, confusion, heartbreak, betrayal, chaos, drama, interference. They're going to come in and apologize and speak their truth. You guys are going to get on the same page and move forward towards a happy and harmonious relationship because you make each other happy.
reflection. Somebody's been deep in thought, thinking, getting clear, getting trying to get clarity. They've spent some time doing some soul searching here. Might have been, um, you know, doing some uh, mirror gazing or other divination. Okay. Or you could, you know, both of you are mirror souls. You mirror each other. You're both, uh, both of you now are clear. You're both on the same page and you know what you want. You want each other and you want to be happy together. All right, let's get to love messages for my cappies. Closed gate. Fate has closed the gate. No more to return. Yeah, they're they're done with uh, whatever whatever this was. This dark cycle. This dark energy. They they're done with it. They're not going back there again. You're moving on from that. Close the gate to the past. They're leaving the past behind. And promise all things are possible with this love. All dreams are possible with this love. So there's, there might be a wedding coming and there's a wedding dress here. There might be, uh, they might promise and uh, to make all of your dreams come true. Let's pull one more for my cappies. Closeness. The bond between you creates a special understanding. You guys have a very close soul bond. Very close bond with each other. It's special. And nothing can come in between that and interfere with it. And on the bottom, you've got, yes, it's our, it's our buddy Hamilton. Yes. He's in a hurry to come back to you. <laughs> Raring to go. He didn't even have time to change his outfit. He's, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be back. So yes, he will be back. Trust and know he will return. He's coming back with a lot of passion to apologize and make things right and speak his truth. Yes, it's our buddy Hamilton. You guys might have uh, had a past life during the Revolutionary War, either the American or the French Revolution. But this is someone from your past returning. Okay, with flowers. He probably stopped at a local cemetery and stole some flowers. Hey, it's a thought that counts, right? But yes, he's coming back. He's going to return. He's closing the gate. Nothing can compare to you. And he's going to promise to be true and faithful and stay by your side. Absolutely stunning. All right, my cappies, that's what I've got for you guys. Until next time, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.